Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, I am going to teach you about the uh, dynamic stability, how to calculate the dynamic stability of a material or a nano sheet. We'll go to the calculate section. So right now I'll be using Castex manual for do, doing that. Okay. So you need to collect, uh, select on the geometry optimization. Okay. Everything will be same. Now go to this uh, uh, more menu and things will be same. Everything will be same. Electronics. Yeah, one more thing to remember is so the pseudo potential this generally this foreign calculation uses norm conserving pseudo potential so you have to select this norm conserving pseudo potential from here and apart from that everything will be same in more menu you can uh, density will uh, everything will be same scf will be uh, all bands edft will be there used in the phonon calculation okay generally we use density mixing but in case of phonon calculation we have to choose all bands EDFT mixing this EDFT other thing will be same similar fine no rocket science now go to the properties menu from here you can select the band structure density of state and um, just go to the phonons Cal click on the phonons and the polarizability so phonon calculation you can calculate the dispersion calculation and the density of state both simultaneously just click on the both and uh, these are the longitudinal optics and the transverse optics splitting that you can calculate okay there are two methods to calculate this phonon calculation one is the linear response another is the final displacement me method generally linear response method is you know far better than final displacement and uh, you know linear response method is more reliable final displacement method uses a uh, you know the um, supercell and we submit a calculation using a supercell okay but uh, linear response method is for the uh, periodic system so that is far better as compared to finite displacement so i'll be using linear response method for here and you can go to the more section in more section as in the uh, you know band structure we have submitted the path so here also you need to check the path and you need to create the path for your system since i have a hexagonal system right i have told you how to take the uh, you know how to give the path of this material since this nano sheet is in two dimension, so in C in the two dimension, what are the K points, specific K point? You have gamma, you have K and M, that is in the plane of that nano sheet, and A, H, L, that is in the third dimension. So in A, you can see that third dimension, the third coordinate is there. A, H also third coordinate is there, and L also, there will be third coordinate, right? So those, as any, you know, K points with those A, H, L will be ignoring that, fine? So we'll be having specific three K points only, uh, gamma to m m to k and k to gamma that's all see now so this greenish color uh, this, that, uh, this sky blue color this entire thing is known as below zone first below and that pink color right that pink color area is known as reciprocal that is of the thing itself okay so now we have selected that after doing all those things just submit the calculation that's all this is and if uh, after doing this if there is an active phonon means your system is not dynamically stable if there is no active phonons means your system is dynamic stable okay so this is the way how to do a phonon calculation and how to find the dynamic stability of material if you have doubt in this please put in the comment section thank you for watching the video